Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my 200th DS Wi-Fi Generation 5 battle. Uh, my opponent today is Zabuza of the Water, who I battled many a time, mostly in Little Cup. And you'll notice we're both using Little Cup teams. And you'll notice my Little Cup team is not like either of my Little Cup teams before. This Little Cup team I put, out, I put together on a whim about a year ago uh, with the idea of, I want to see if Little Cup stall could actually be a thing. And you know what? It is. This team kind of proves it. I'm not the best battler in the world, as you can all attest, but this team is only weak to two things. Number one is misplays, number two is hacks. Um, it, because of that, it's regularly near the very top of the ladder. I believe it's number two or number three on the Generation 5 Little Cup ladder right now. Uh, it's bit, it was number one for a really long time, but you know, hacks knocked me off of it. Um, but anyway getting down to what's actually going on. So you'll notice I've got three I've got a three extra generator core. I've got a Pharisee that has no attacking moves. I have uh usually uh Snover is running the uh, the choice scarf set. This one is not. It is running the um an Violite set and that really takes a lot of people for surprise. And Murkrow is a prankster sub rooster. So extremely stally team. Uh, it actually qualifies as stall using my metric, and no Little Cup team does that, and it's ridiculous. Uh, so anyway, as I've been talking, I KO'd his mind, uh, mind food with a really excellent play. I wasn't sure how many turns he'd stay asleep, I was hoping it would be at least two, and indeed it was, and even, and I had, I was really worried he was going to switch out that last turn with a U-turn, so I protected and managed to KO. So anyway, he has this Hound Hour, which is a huge threat to my team. Uh, it's probably the only really big threat to my team, again, besides uh, hacks and besides misplays. Um, but, so here I go for the uh, Drain Punch, and really, I've got to sack someone, pretty much. Or I've got to, I've got to just hope that he doesn't over, uh, he doesn't, he over predicts or um, makes a mistake. I go out into Usain Bolt here. He wisely goes for a Dark Pulse. A Dark Pulse would have taken out Mind Shadow at that range as well. Uh, you notice it didn't actually KO Usain Bolt, by the way. Best name for a Slowpoke ever, am I right? Uh, but unfortunately, the hail does take him out. Lame, lame, lame. But anyway, I go back out into my Mind uh, mind Fu, and at that range of health, considering it's Life Orb, I'm pretty sure a Fake Out would have KO'd, and if not, the hail would have done it on that turn. Unfortunately, he switches out into his own uh, uh, Slowpoke. I go ahead and you turn out. Does a decent chunk of damage, not a great amount. And I'm going to go out now into um, my Pharaoh Seed. And here I make another um, baby misplay. I was expecting him uh, to... Or sorry, on this turn coming up. I was expecting him... I was trying to scout out to see if he carried the Fire Blast, because mine carries the Fire Blast, although you're not going to get to see it, and I wanted to know whether he did, so I go for the Protect here, even though I should have just gone for setting up rocks or something. Had I set up rocks, it would have been quite nice. I mean, he does have that Drill Bird, which usually runs as a spinner, but I don't know. Here, I was expecting him to think I was going to switch out into... Actually, I've got no one who resists Fire at this point, so that was the right move. Uh, so I had to fodder someone, and might as well be my um, Pharaoh Seed. Usually not the most useful of my Pokemon. Here, he's saving that guy as much as he can because he knows that it is a huge threat to my team now that he's taken out uh, my Slowpoke. So, bit of prediction there, and it's really kind of turned the... It's really kind of given him the competitive advantage, but I can still play around it. So here I go for the Drain Punch thing. He's probably going to set up rocks. I don't even know if he carries a Psychic. Also, I could probably... T uh, mine, f mine Fu could probably take the Psychic at that range of health. Maybe I'll throw up a cow. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out here. Uh, gets a crit. That's nice. Uh, I like crits on occasion. Uh, now I'm going to go out into 2012. Um, my... <clears throat> what do I call it? My Snover. Thinking that I did not want... Um, I did not want uh, my Fungus, now that it's lost its Eviolite thanks to a knockoff, to get hit by a Psychic. Here I go for the Blizzard, at that range of health, you know, I get another crit here, that crit didn't matter, no way, no how. So here I'm hoping that he thinks that I'm the Scarf set and will act accordingly. Uh, so he goes out into um, Murkrow and goes for the sub, probably expecting me, I don't actually know what I'm expecting, um, but I go for the Ice Shard, uh, now revealing that I am not in fact Scarfed. Uh, break his, uh, break his, um, sub, and here, so this is a prankster set, I, a lot of times on the ladder nowadays, they're not running prankster, they're running insomnia to kind of block fungus, so here I go for a blizzard, I'm not sure why that, I thought that was a better move, 
in case I guess he was going to roost, but at that range of health, why would he roost? Here, he's probably going to roost. Um, but, yeah. Instead, he actually goes for the Sucker Punch, and it's going to take out 2010, and that sucks, but it is going to mean that I'm going to have the free switch into someone else. And at that range of health, I'm hoping that um, my Mind Food can KO with a uh, Fake Out. I'm not actually sure that it can. Maybe I'll throw up a calf. Maybe I won't. Anyway, but here's the case. He has to he has to fodder someone. He decides it's going to be his Hound Hour. His Hound Hour actually survived the fake out, but dies to hail, as I was kind of expecting from you know a few turns ago. Back out into Wicked Witch of the West. He goes for the Brave Bird. I go ahead and fodder uh, River. I had uh, you know basically I didn't really have anyone to take the Brave Bird, but uh, you know that's really okay. Uh, usually I have Pharaoh Seed to take the Brave Bird, and it's a 2 KO and does a lot of residual damage. So now I go out into Corrin, Half Hand, yeah, Game of Thrones reference. I go for a sub, predicting him to roost. Indeed, he does roost. Uh, that is phenomenal because I am behind the sub, and I know my health is down to about half. In fact, it's going to be less than half, half. Or no, it's. Yeah, it's less than half. No, wait, I can do that. It's slightly more than half. I go for Drill Peck. I have Drill Peck instead of Brave Bird. Had it been Brave Bird, people will say, uh, then I would have gotten the KO. Yes, but it has a lot of residual damage, forces me to roost too often, and basically, I win the Stall War here. Even, I mean, he doesn't have uh, T-Wave, so uh, I don't have to worry about even if it is a speed tie. He goes for the Brave Bird here. It's not going... Mm, I don't know what I should say really there. Actually, probably if I'd gone for the... Uh, drill pack and I, I'm pretty sure I outspeed I would have KO'd and not had my health as low as it is. But it is as low as it is. So here I'm going to go for a roost. Um, I'm hoping he doesn't prove that and go for the X scissor. So uh, I actually I actually made a mistake when I was uh, having this battle. I thought this was his last Pokemon for whatever reason. So he goes into rock, he goes for Rock Slide. Um, I wish I had noticed that uh, he was taking hell damage before me. And I'll explain about that later. Here I go for the drill pack. Uh, had, yeah, so he was faster, and he would have KO'd if he'd stayed in, <laughs> so that would not have been good. Here I go for the sub. Uh, not sure what this guy's gonna do. Aqua Tail! I have never seen a physical slowpoke before, and I probably never will again. Um, I'm down to extremely low HP, can't sub, but I can roost, and I don't, I really don't think that Aqua Tail's gonna do that much, plus it doesn't have perfect accuracy, I might get lucky and um, he might miss. Anyway, he actually decides to do the very smart play and go for the T-Wave. I'm thinking, damn it, this means I don't outspeed Drillbur. Turns out I didn't outspeed Drillbur anyway. I really wish I had noticed that. Oh man, these things you notice only in retrospects. Here I go for another roost. Prankster is a godsend. Uh, really, Murkrow should have been banned. I mean, no, that's not true. Okay, so Murkrow's not... Murkrow is not overpowered in the Gen 5 metagame, I guess. But really, I mean, it... Little Cup Gen 5 really comes down to the three M's. Murkrow, Mindfu, and Mistrevis. Uh, pick two out of three. If you don't have at least two out of three, you're probably not going to do well competitively. If you have all... Th I actually haven't seen many teams that work well with all three. Usually it's really pick two out of three, no more, no less. But anyway, I digress. So here we're just in a stall battle. Uh, it's a matter of who gets paralyzed more. So far he's getting paralyzed, I'm not so much. That's fine for me. <laughs> I mean, whatever, that's that's not nice to say. But, um, you know, I really want to beat uh, Zabuza because I've never beat him before. I've, and this is the closest I've ever come. So um, I go for another roost here. I'm just stalling him out. He's got slack off as well, so this is really, really stally. This battle was a total of 40 turns long. 40 turns for Little Cup. That's ridiculous. That is completely insane. Uh, given, I'm going to just spoil it for you. This is going to end in uh, a 1-0 victory, which means 11 um, KOs. 11 KOs over 40 turns is more than 3 KOs, or 3 turns per KO. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely absurd. Little Cup is a game that revolves around the, uh, the one-hit KO, where most of the tiers revolve around the two KO. Here, I cannot believe it didn't KO. Holy crap! I had made a stupid, stupid play setting in Minimus at all, and the fact that he, he survived the Giga Drain on one HP, and then died later, but whatever, just, oh my god. So here I make another probable misplay, um, especially considering what I'm about to discover. Um, so he goes for a rock slide. I can take that. I could have totally taken that. Uh, and you know what can't take any attacks from this guy? Um, a, a, um, Fungus, who doesn't have a Violate, and only about down, or only has about, um, 
uh, it only has a third of its health left. So yeah, had I just foddered Fungus, uh, I think I could have actually won this. But as it is, I foddered Corrin instead. I send out Minimus as my last Pokemon, and uh, at this point, Zabuza said, it all comes down to hacks. Like, what, you don't have X Scissor? And he goes for Rock Slide, and why are you going for Rock Slide? And he said, it's because I'm Scarfed. And like, you're Scarfed? You're Scarfed? I would have won that if I'd realized that he was Scarfed! So, Zabuza of the Water, you won the battle due to my two weaknesses, hacks and misplays. Great game. Uh, yeah, and I think you're the better opponent anyway. So long, folks.